North Korea rejects South aid offer, calls President Jun's really simple. North Korea has rejected South Korea offer of economic support in exchange for denuclearization, saying the proposal suggested President Jun suk yeol is really simple. State media, KCNA reported Friday. Kim yo Young, a top official's and sister of North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, criticized Jun's offer to improve North Korea's economy and the livelihood of its people as pipe dream-like remarks. Jun's first proposed what he called an adancious plan to swap economic cooperation for an end to North Korea nuclear program during his inauguration speech in May. He has since continued to raise the idea, reiterating the offer this week. In a speech Monday, he said his government would implement a large-scale food program, provide help for power generation, enhance agriculture and other measures to modernize North Korea ports, trade routes, hospital and economy, in exchange for denuclearization. But in the KCNA report, Kim Yo-yong rejected the proposal and level of personal attack at the South Korean president. To think that the plan to barter economic cooperation for our honor, nuke, is a great dream, hope and plan of June. We came to realize that he's really simple and still childish, said Kim Yo-yong. According to KCNA, we make it clear that we will not sit face to face with him. South Korea Unification Ministry responded on Friday, expressing strong regret over Kim Yo Young's disrespectful comments. It said North Korea had disordered our ideas and mentioned it intention to continue nuclear development instead of responding to the audacious initiative, adding that such an attitude would not only threaten peace on the Korean peninsula but worsen North Korea's own economic situation. In the KCNA report, Kim yo Young said South Korea had pinpointed the wrong location for a missile that North Korea launched on Wednesday and questioned why the South and the United States had not released their analysts of the weapons. The isolation hermit kingdom launched two cruise missile from the coastal town of Okon into water off its west coast on Wednesday, according to the South Korean military. But Kim yo Young claimed the test has been conducted from Kim Song Bridge in Anju City, located in South Pyongyan province. Just north, the capital Pyongyan, she did not give further details of the test. Wednesday tests marked North Korea 18 missile launch this year, according to CNN's count. By comparison, the Hermit Kingdom conducted only four tests in 2020 and eight in 2021. Tensions between the two Koreas have been building this year, with U.S. military and intelligence agencies warning that North Korea appear to be preparing for a nuclear test, which would be at first in five years. That's it for today. Thank you and goodbye.